Welcome to Fun with Captain Starlight. I am Captain Starlight coming to you live from the Sydney Children's Hospital here at Randwick. And I'd like to begin by paying my respects to the traditional custodians of the lands on which we're meeting today, the Bidjigal and Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. And I'd like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Now, today we have a very special guest on Fun with Captain Starlight, as we so often do, who's here to show us the ups and the downs of the yo-yo champion world. That's right, Gentry Stein is here to show us some amazing yo-yo tricks. Welcome, Gentry, to the show, everybody. Wow! Hey, wow! No worries. Welcome, welcome. This is an amazing art form, the yo-yo. Now, kids out there are going to be watching along today, Gentry, and they're going to be able to comment and ask questions. And for the best question and comment, we may even have a very special prize for them. One of your brand new yo-yos. This oh. is a yo-yo that you've made. Um, so please comment along, ask us questions, and uh, we'll be in touch to see if we can send one of these things out to you. We have a few to give away. Because you're very generous, Gentry, as as a par apart from being an amazing yo-yo star. Now tell us what goes in to making your yo your own yo-yo. Well, making my own yo-yo is a very fun process. I've actually got to design about ten different yo-yos, um, but this one, the uh, the spin star that you have right there with you, this is my yo-yo that I've designed to be easy to learn tricks with. So a good yo-yo will spin at the bottom of the string, and when you flip your hand over and tug it back up, it will respond easily. That's what a, a good yo-yo that's easy to learn with will do that, and then you can learn tricks like this, like the stop and go. Oh, Forward my pass, goodness. Forward pass, whirl. And then I've gotten to design many other yo-yos like this one, which is my professional model that I use at competitions. This one right here I used to win my first world yo-yo contest in the Czech Republic. It's called the Shutter. What? Oh my goodness. Now hold on. World Yo-Yo Championships. How do you get to the World Yo-Yo Championships? Well, so the World Yo-Yo Competition moves around to different places all around the world. So it's been anywhere from Shanghai, China to Japan and even Iceland. And so 
every year it happens and basically you do a three minute routine all set up to music and the player that has the best tricks with the best performance all together will end up becoming the world champion oh my goodness now i hear you've pioneered matching your routines to music oh yeah that's one of my favorite parts about yo-yoing is is jamming to the music so tell me i want to know how old were you when you first decided you know what I'm going to pick up a yo-yo and give it a toss. Yeah, that's a good question. So I was eight years old and I did it for a couple of years. I started taking lessons from a local shop in my hometown. Um, and really when I picked up a yo-yo for the first time, I pretty much fell in love with it from that point. It was so much fun to learn new tricks and challenge myself and the feeling of accomplishment when you get that first trick down and really any new trick that you learn, it just feels so good. And how did you find out about tricks? Were you able to watch someone else or read a book? It must be hard to learn. Yeah, you know, it's actually much easier to learn now than it was when I first started. Um, luckily, I was able to have a local yo-yo club where I could go take lessons. But now, um, now that you have YouTube, um, it's much easier to learn tricks. Just from going on YouTube and learning tricks, I have a whole beginner yo-yo tutorial series that I've made that's on my YouTube channel that um hundreds of thousands of kids have learned from oh my gosh go check out gentry's wonderful uh channel on youtube we've had some questions there people are like how is it not getting tangled watching you do all these tricks whoa 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 i'm like an well, avatar you know, here the 3d world yeah sometimes it does get a little bit tangled but that's part of just part of the process when it does get tangled it's easy to just take the yo-yo apart undo it and then it's nice because you can just try it again right away as soon as you get a nod out. Oh, so there's a tip there. Because one of the dads was saying to us earlier, he says, my yo-yo used to get tangled all the time. So take it apart, untangle, put it together again. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things about the older yo-yos, you, you didn't used to be able to take them apart. But now, like this one right here, the one that you had there that we're going to be giving yeah. away, you can just unscrew it. And you want to be careful to not lose this piece in the middle here. This okay. is where the string spins on, and you can put that back in there and get any knots out that you need to, and then yeah. just put it together and uh, get it back on your finger, and you're good to go to start learning again. That is so cool. I feel like yo-yo repair, man. I mean, like that is that's these are the tips we need. Now, I am very impressed by your skill set. Do you think that people at home watching this could become as good as you? Because I'm going to be honest, it seems impossible to me to learn how to do this while you're talking and you're just not even looking and you're just like wow how does that happen yes i know so you have to remember i've been yo-yoing for 15 years so i've had a lot of hours to practice and i know sometimes when people see me yo-yoing they think oh i don't know if i could do that that looks pretty intimidating and they're not sure if they could do it themselves but there was a point when I first started yo-yoing, when I first picked up a yo-yo, I didn't know how to do any tricks either. So really all it took was for me to just pick up the yo-yo and start trying. And I would really surprise myself at what I was capable of. And I've taught thousands of kids all around the world how to yo-yo. And especially those moments where they feel like, oh, they're a little skeptical to try it themselves. Um, anytime I get a yo-yo in their hands, it's always just such a fun time. And, and um, everyone just surprises themselves with what they can do. That's one of my favorite parts about yo-yos. Oh my gosh, I could just watch this all day. It's like hypnotic. You must, you're very inspirational, be not only very good at something, but also teaching other people, passing that knowledge on. Is that something that you're passionate about? Oh, I love it. It's, I love, it's, like I said earlier, it's, it's all about learning that new trick and, and seeing that there's a point where if you don't know how to do the trick at first and then you go through that process of learning and challenging yourself, that moment when you finally get the trick down, it feels so good. And I love seeing other people and other kids go through that same experience and, and just see the look on their face when they can master a trick for themselves. And do you come up with tricks? I mean, you've probably learned all the tricks are there, right? I mean, oh, hi, Noah. It's uh, uh, Captain Freckles is watching. Don't worry. Yes. And we've got... Uh, Gentry's here, so if you need any tricks, just let him know and he'll do one for you. But do you make up What's your that? own tricks? Yeah, so a lot of the tricks that you see me doing, I've actually made up on my own. This one right here, 
I've created and in my world champion routine, most of those tricks I've actually created. So there's really an unlimited amount of tricks that you can learn and it really never ends. There's always a new trick to learn. And do you, do you name them or do you just kind of know what they are by the feel of it? So some tricks have names. This one right here is called the DNA. Wow. Trick. Some of them have now, names. That was, oh my goodness. This one here is called, that I've been doing a, a little bit is called the boingy boing. The boingy boing is very, I like that one a lot. That's a very good name because it makes sense. Because yeah. Christine's asked us, she said, what's your favorite yo-yo tricks to show us? But I feel like we're seeing them. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, well, a lot of the tricks that I've been doing um, are my favorite. The tricks that I've been doing, though, are, are a high-level advanced tricks. So I can show you a few um, beginner tricks. That are okay, tricks yeah, let's do this. Let's Everybody at home, get your yo-yos out, follow along. We've got this. We'll, we'll start with a, a more Captain Starlight level. So, first things first, when you start yo-yoing, you want to make sure the string is connected to your finger correctly. So there's going to be a loop at the top of the string, and we actually don't want to put that on our finger right away because that loop is a fixed size. So if we go to throw the yo-yo, it might fly off our finger, and we want to avoid that. So we actually want to make a slip knot. So we take the loop at the top, and we bring the string through. We pull the string through that loop and make what's called a slip knot. And now that goes onto the middle finger. And you can see there it's tight on the finger and it's not gonna come off there. So now- Oh from my gosh, that's so clever. That's mind blowing. Cause I think a lot of people get them stuck on their finger or it falls off and they go, I don't get it. Slip yeah, knot, okay. Yeah. There's a few things to learn before you start doing tricks. Um, and it might okay. seem like a lot at first, but once you learn these few things, you won't really have to think about it anymore. Okay. You'll just throw on your finger and you're good to go. From here, you're gonna wind the string around the yo-yo. So you grab one side of the yo-yo and then pinch the string um, just a, a little bit below. And then you start to lightly wind the string around until it's all the way to your hand. Okay. So from there, we wanna make sure the string's going over the top of the yo-yo so it can roll out correctly. Makes sense, and yep. And we're gonna hold the hand up like this and we wanna throw straight down. Now, this isn't easy. It does take a little bit of practice. And I like to say that the hardest trick is the, the newest trick that you're learning. So usually within about 20 tries, um, people can, can get the sleeper. Sometimes they even get it on their first try, but it does take some practice. So what you want to do is hold the yo-yo out, put it up by your ear like this, and then you're going to yep. throw straight down, keeping your palm facing the sky. And just like that, the yo-yo will start spinning. You can probably hear it spinning. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. From there, we're going to flip our hand over. And remember, the string's connected to the yo yo. So we just, or it's connected to our finger. So we just pull straight up and it comes right to the hand. We don't have to reach for it or try to grab it. It'll just come straight back to the hand. So that's the sleeper. That's the foundation for a lot of yo yo tricks. Now, another one of my favorite tricks is called the elevator. So we okay. throw the yo yo down just like this with a good spin. And then we push our finger straight into the string like this. Then we bring our hand down below the yo-yo. Now all nope. we have to do here is pull our top hand up. Or you can pull your bottom hand down. And it causes the yo-yo to go all the way up the elevator. And then we just pull our top hand away and watch what happens. Ready? Yeah. No! Back in the hand! <laughs> yeah, so it snaps right back to the hand. And that's the elevator. There are so many kids in hospital beds that are desperate now to get their hands on a yo-yo because it's kind of the perfect thing to be able to practice while you're still probably like stuck somewhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you know, one thing that um, if you are in a bed, um, yeah. one thing that you can do is shorten the string a little bit and make that string a bit shorter so it's easier to play while you are sitting down. Oh. So here's what you can do to shorten the string. Um, all you do is just pinch the string down to where you want it to be shortened to. Okay. And then you can fold the string over like this. Yep. And you can just make a new loop here. Now all you're going to do is wrap the string around itself. Yes. Like this. And you see how it, it's formed a new loop there. We're just going to yeah. put the tip of the string, feed it back through that loop that we made. And then from there, we make a new knot there. And from there, we can just make a new slip knot. And that way we oh. shorten the string. So even if you're sitting down, you know, you can still throw the yo-yo. It's much easier that way. You can still do tricks. So smart. And if, 
if that if you need help call captain starlight they'll come and help you shorten your yo-yo strings yeah um Jedry, we just had a comment there from min who said lucky i learned the dna from you so you've oh, been teaching oh, these people by each i mean i cannot believe somebody can do that dna trick. Wow, that so is the amazing DNA is a tough did i already show that one here i'll show it one more time the dna is a yeah. pretty advanced trick it looks like this wow that is so cool it doesn't get boring it's the most amazing thing because you're spinning it on your <laughs> finger as it's wrapped around yeah yeah that's pretty much how it works basically the yo-yo is spinning on the finger and then you force the string to catch on the inside uh, and as you leave your top hand right here as the yo-yo is spinning on your finger it basically just winds the string like this and creates that formation there it's really about learning to go with the flow here now we are with an unresponsive yo-yo aka the dna i don't know what that means but we'll work that out um how <laughs> many yo-yos do you even have oh goodness how about how about everyone that's watching takes a quick guess into the chat of how many yo-yos? Yes, good idea. I, I'm going to guess you've got. I've seen two already. You've got two there, so I'm going to guess three because it's good to have a spare. So I'm, than, I'm going with three. Okay, three. <laughs> it's high, higher than two or three kids. Comment below. Oh, 50. Someone thinks 50. 50. Mm -hmm. Okay, that you need a whole cupboard for 50 yo-yos, I imagine. Or I mean, it must. I guess yeah. I. Now 50. Uh, maybe is it higher than 50? <laughs> well, oh, 12. 12? So, you know, I have to be honest here. I actually don't know exactly how many yo-yos I have, but I do know that it's over 1,000. Well, the, yes, that's right. I mean, more than, more than 100. You've got over 1,000? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Where do you put them all? You know, I put them, I display them all around. Some of them I uh, put in yo-yo cases and uh, they're pretty much everywhere. <laughs> they're in my car. They're pretty much everywhere. Okay. Well, now we want to get a bit creative here. We're going to do a game shortly, but Alice Springs, um, have a, they're watching along there and they would like to know, yo-yo, can you rap while yo-yoing? <laughs> oh, goodness. You, oh, you're man. going to get tested today. Oh, goodness. I don't, I don't know if I could, if I could rap while yo-yoing, but maybe you could rap while I do some <laughs> yo-yo tricks. Okay. Yep. Here we go. He's doing some tricks. His name is Gentry. He likes to do yo-yo a plenty. Every time you see him, you say yo-yo because you don't know if he's going up or he's going down. Yo, low, <laughs> down low. Boom. Hey, there we go. I mean, look, that was off the cuff, so. I feel like your tricks were better than mine, but good teamwork. Yo-yos, bringing people together. That's what it's all about. Now, we're going to a game. I hope you're ready for this game. It's very high stakes, and it's I'm called Yo-Yo or No-No. You've got to guess if the following phrases are real classic yo-yo tricks or no-nos. Now, I feel like, Andrew, you will know, but the kids out there, have to guess whether these are the names of actual tricks or are they made up. So oh, and Daniel says you're so great at yo-yos. So they're, they're coming in. Oh, there's a yo-yo emoji. Who knew? I just saw that. Okay. So the first name is Rock the Baby. Comment below if you think this is a yo-yo trick or no, no, just made up. Um, now, Rock the Baby I feel like Rock the Baby would be something that, what do they say? Don't rock the baby, but you rock the baby is to that, go to sleep. Is and there a, is a yo-yo trip called the sleeper. I don't know. Do I see a baby with a guitar doing a guitar solo? Yes. Yeah, you do. You see that because, you, you know, we have a high production team here who find the, <laughs> the rock babies to match our names. Okay. Um, Bill says, yes, it is. Yes, it is an actual trick. Um, Bill thinks it is. Justin thinks it is. Oh, no one's saying no. And here I was. Okay, no, no. Someone Taj thinks it's a no, no. Okay, all right. Noah thinks it is a trick. Okay, so Gentry, is it? Is Rock the Baby a yo-yo trick? Well, if you said yes, it is in fact a yo-yo trick. And I can oh! show you okay, show us. Rock the Baby is a classic yo-yo trick. Okay, what does it look like? Oh, that's cute. 
Oh, wow. So you've made a little like cradle and you're rocking the yo-yo through it. Yeah, check it out. No, you're rocking the okay. baby for the cradle. Oh, okay. Oh, duh. <laughs> the cradle is the string and the baby yeah. is the yo-yo. Got it. I've got it now. I see it. Oh, wow. So rock, rock the baby is not a rock baby. It's a rocking the baby to go to sleep i get it i get it okay good job guys good job okay go to the next one monkey party yo-yo or no-no monkey party hmm i feel like a monkey party would be pretty wild would be could be would there be bananas perhaps it involves bananas there are some pretty interesting names for yo-yo tricks i don't know if that's a hint or not Oh, okay. And if if you've named a trick, if you've come up with, you know, a name for a trick, do you have to like tell other people? I mean, unless you want someone else to take the trick and take all the credit for themselves. Okay. People don't so really that's important. Many tricks anymore. Some of them are named. Okay. Okay. So no, no. People are thinking no, no for this one, um, and. Yo-yo. Charmaine thinks definitely a yo-yo. Well, because, yeah, monkey party. She probably really... And Bill says no. Okay. Go to the reveal. Gentry, what is it? Well, you know, I do think it's a pretty cool name for a trick. But I think in order to do a trick called monkey party, I probably would need a banana. So monkey party oh, is no. a no-no. But maybe I'd no, have to no. do an A on a banana. And maybe that should be the monkey party trick. You have to while you're while you're visiting a show, you have to go to the giant banana somewhere and do a yo-yo trick. Then that would be the monkey party trick you need. You know, actually, I have been to Australia one other time. It was about five years ago, and I did go to the giant banana. So I I actually oh! know what you're talking about. Okay, all right. Well, someone's going to get him back there. Do your next YouTube special about the monkey party <laughs> trick on the banana. Yeah, trick there. I love it. Okay, and we've got one final one. The time warp. Ooh. Now, this is a picture of a dinosaur going through time. I'm not sure if the dinosaur is a uh, part of the yo-yo trick, but... Um, the dinosaur is surfing. The dinosaur is on a yes, surfboard. Yes, I guess that makes sense, because why would it need sunglasses if it wasn't at the beach? Now, do you think, kids, the time warp is a yo-yo trick or a no-no trick? Is it a yo-yo trick or no-no? Um, I do wonder, though, uh, do you get tired? Do your hands need to stretch? Do you have to do special exercises to, like, relax your hands? You know, at this point, I've pretty much gotten used to just having a yo-yo in my hand all the time. So uh, I'm, I'm used to it at this point. And can you take it on the plane? Do you do it while you're flying? <laughs> you know, I, I have a little bit, but not too much. I just, okay. I'm always okay. aware of the passenger next to me. I'm, That's I'm, true. I haven't done too much yo-yoing on the plane. But of course, anytime I'm traveling and I am on a plane, I always have a bunch of yo-yos in my bag. Uh. It's a good reminder, kids, be spatially aware. Don't just start yo-yoing anywhere. Make sure you have room. Now, a lot of people are saying no. So, and some people are saying yo. And Noah's saying it is a trick. So is the time uh, warp a trick, Gentry? We have we have some mixed answers here, it sounds like. Well, yes. the time warp is a yo-yo trick. And it looks hey. like Oh my goodness. You know, that you know what it's called the time warp? No, because we would love to know why. Some of some of uh, the kids in the audience may may recognize this trick around the world. Yes. And basically the time warp is you go all the way around the world, then you bring it all the way back. All the way oh back. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. You make it look so easy. Now, we definitely have some more questions coming up, too. So I think let's shoot to the kids' questions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are they going to ask? Question from Andy at QCH. When did you learn all these amazing tricks? Well, I have learned a new trick, well, many new tricks, ever since I began yo-yoing. So like I said, there's never you can never learn all the tricks. So there's always a new trick to learn. So when I, after my first couple of years of yo-yoing, I learned a lot of the basic tricks. And then from there is when you can actually start to make your own tricks too. 
Oh, I love it. Yeah, master the basics. First, I'm going to learn how to tie that string properly on because that's been a real bugbear of mine. But then, then you'll be like, in 15 years' time, you'll be doing what Gentry can do. Okay, so it's key to just keep going at your own pace. Challenge yourself, but also practice. Now, Justin would like to know, how were you a yo-yo world champion? Did you get inspiration from another world champion? Good one, Justin. Oh, yeah. So I've actually been inspired by quite a few people, but there was one specific person who, when I first started yo-yoing, was the current national champion. That was in about 2004. And now he's a really good friend of mine. His name is Avi Fash. So he won the U.S. national yo-yo contest in 2004. And then I started yo-yoing right after that. So he's the one who taught me a lot of the first few tricks when I first started learning now oh that is so good emma at the john hunter hospital wants to know have you ever got a black eye from your yo-yo wow that one is amazing uh luckily no i have not ever got a black eye you know i've, I've been lucky to not ever have any sort of serious injury from yo-yos that's why he's world champion guys because he knows how to not get injured from the yo-yo <laughs> and qch want to know do you like mashed potatoes and gravy <laughs> Yeah, I like mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay. All right. Do you have a special food you like to eat before competitions? Oh, before competitions? You know, I it's it's always tough because usually I don't I don't have the most appetite before the competition. You get but nervous. after the competition, once everything's done and over with, and uh, then I like to go have a good burrito or maybe some good sushi. Oh, yeah. What about a sushi burrito? Oh. You should try that next time. Oh, a sushi burrito. Getting fancy. I've never had one. <laughs> QCH from Andy and Andy only. Is your yo-yo your best friend? <laughs> That's a good question. I've never really thought about that. But, uh, I mean, I guess it's it's the, the friend that I've spent the most time around because I always have a yo-yo with me, but one of the great things I love yo about yo-yos is that I have made so many good friends from yo-yos, um, and it's been a really cool thing to introduce me to so many different friends from around the world. Oh, that is so cool, because it it's good to know how to make friends, and I'm always wondering, like, a friendship with a yo-yo, it'd be quite up and down. Yeah. <laughs> You're a funny I guy. I got to do that. Thanks, Starlight. thanks, mate. We've all got our talents. Um, now, well, it says Angel would like to know who inspired you to yo-yo. Now, I, did, I know you mentioned you're the world champion before, but was there anybody else that inspired you? You know, I would say once I first started getting into yo-yo competitions, um, I was really inspired by the Yo-Yo Factory, which is the brand that I'm sponsored by. And when I first started yo-yoing, it was my first yo-yo was actually a yo-yo factory yo-yo. And now I, it's pretty incredible. I can't really believe that I'm here touring around Australia with yo-yo factory. And I've also designed a whole line of yo-yos with them. Okay. Serious question then. Have you been to the yo-yo factory? Yes, I have. It's, it's in oh. Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, amazing, amazing stuff. Wow, that is so cool. Well, oh my gosh, look at that one. Look at that one. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, <laughs> around the back. Stop it. Now you're just showing off. I mean, that's the, oh, what? What is that one called? There's not a name for that one. This is all yo-yo freestyle. This is freestyle and I'm loving it. Oh, wow. That is so cool. How long do you yo-yo for when you're practicing? Well, like I said, I always have a yo-yo with me, but when I'm practicing for a competition, there's a lot of things that I spend my time on. So I spend a lot of the day yo-yoing. That includes practicing the tricks. That includes editing the music and putting all the tricks together for the routine. I mean, that takes me, I prepare for the whole year. So I, I practice hours and hours a day for an entire year to prepare to make a routine that's worthy of being the world champion. Oh, okay. See, and that's 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 an important lesson for the kids out there. Often it's hours of practice for like three minutes of just like amazing work. So, Gentry, we're going to get you to just do your own showcase now. Just take it away. I'll stop distracting you with questions. I mean, you're a pretty talented guy. You can just do it while you talk. But take it away. Show us a little routine, whatever you want, and um, I'll just be quiet. Okay, sounds good. So these tricks I'm doing right here, 
are some of the most difficult types of tricks because the yo-yo is actually spinning sideways if you look close. And so it's fighting gravity the whole time. Normally a yo-yo is spinning this way. And if you mess up the trick, it can just fall and you can start again. But with those tricks where it's spinning sideways, it's really difficult to keep it online. Keep it going the whole time. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dina! How amazing is that? I just, I could not even, that yo-yo moves faster than my eyes could even catch it. How do you even know where the yo-yo is when it's spinning so fast around you? Well, you don't start with all those crazy tricks no. like that. You start with the basics. And as you keep practicing, you can keep learning more and more difficult tricks. So, you know, you start with the sleeper. Okay. Then maybe you move on to something like the elevator. Okay. Right? Then maybe you can learn rock the baby. Yes. Right? Oh, go, oh, baby went over the cradle. Okay. Stop and go. Whoops. Oh, go my in. gosh. See, I even messed up there a little. You can go into something like stop and go or the UFO. Oh, I love the UFO. <laughs> more and more tricks that are more and more difficult. You can do tricks like the trapeze. Trapeze is brother. Oh. Whoa. You can keep challenging yourself to learn yeah. new tricks. Eventually, you're doing tricks that you never really thought would even be possible with video yet. Gentry, you have certainly wowed our audience and unbelievably defied gravity. I mean, the DNA alone was, you've got the DNA to be a yo-yo master, that's for sure. But I mean, I think you have reignited a whole generational love for yo-yos because, you know, they've had a little break for a while. I think some kids probably don't necessarily know exactly what a yo-yo is and they've learned today. But not only that, you've inspired me. I, I cannot believe the levels of yo-yoing out there. So kids, if you want to see more from Gentry, check out his YouTube channel. Follow him on his socials. I mean, there is so much to learn. He's such a good teacher. And look at what you could, you could be doing some DNA or world champion competition style tricks one day, just hours of practice. Yeah, yeah. I actually have a whole Learn to Yo-Yo series on my YouTube channel filled with tutorials from everything from just the very basics of getting started, how to set up your Yo-Yo, how to wind it up, how to throw the Yo-Yo for the first time, all the way through some pretty cool advanced tricks too. All on my YouTube awesome. channel. That is so cool. The kids know how to do YouTube work. So follow Gentry on there and check him out and learn how to do it. And if you wanted a yo-yo, make sure you've commented below and let us know. And we'll try and reach out and find someone out there to give this amazing yo-yo to. Uh, thank you very much, Gentry Stein. You're a star. Follow us on, Cap on Captain's Fun and Captain Starlight like YouTube, on TikTok. We're going to be online for everyone to see so you can catch up and see these tricks again. But next time on Fun with Captain Starlight, live on Thursday, the 3rd of November, Black Butt Nature Reserve's amazing animals are going to be in, I think, John Hunter, and they're going to be doing yo-yo tricks for us. No, 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 no. They're just amazing animals. They're just going to be themselves. So uh, we'll see them next time. Uh, follow us again if you want. And Gentry, thank you so much for joining us. May thank your yo-yo you. days be filled with the best ups and the best downs. Oh, uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> See you, buddy. See ya. Thanks. See ya. Bye.